Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about how I make YouTube videos. So the reason for this video is not because I'm running out of ideas for vlogmas. What? No, that's definitely not it. The reason I'm making this video is because I run into a lot of people that talk to me about, hey, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel and I don't really know where to start. So what I usually tell them is, is just start. But sometimes it's not that simple for everybody and they want to know what other people do for their YouTube channels and how they make their videos. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how I operate my YouTube channel, how I record, how I edit, and how I upload it. So I I guess the simplest way to start is just to talk about my equipment. So here we go. Also guys, I'm sorry, but this isn't my room, so you're gonna see a mess. So I guess the first thing I could talk about is my tripod. I've used this thing for a really long time. I don't even use it for YouTube anymore. I actually use it for TikTok. I took this little phone holder thing and I taped it to the part where the camera's actually supposed to go. And that's how I record videos on TikTok now. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's really old, I'm trying to get a new one. And whenever I get a new one, it's gonna be for both TikTok and YouTube because this thing's really old and the tape thing just looks really flimsy. So. Yeah, this is my light like I said I'm trying to get a circle light so it's like half tripod and half light But this is the light I use right now. Oh god. It's pretty bright. I like it a lot. It works pretty well This right here is my camera. It's a Canon M50. I really really love this camera I just got it like a few months ago up until that point. I was using a Sony h7x I believe it was called it was a vlogging specific camera, which was it was nice for a while But the audio was terrible on it So I wanted to get something with a, a mic jack in it the inbuilt mic on this camera is really good as well, but I like using the Rode mic. It, it, it makes the sound really crisp and nice. So that's what I use for audio and video. A lot of people don't know, but when I actually started, I did everything on my phone. Not only did I record, but I also edited all on my iPhone 8. So guys, this is my computer. It's a 2019 MacBook Pro. It's really nice. I like it a lot. I, I also got this a few months ago along with my new camera. One thing about my setup that you might notice though, is that this is all pretty mobile. I'm on the move a lot. Like I'm never really living in one destination for a long period of time. Hopefully in the future that changes, but I'm either like editing here at, at in Katy, or I'm editing back in college in Huntsville, or I'm editing on the road. So I feel like having a laptop and a portable camera is like the most important thing for me. So no, I don't really have a big light or a big microphone or a desktop computer or anything like that. Everything I have is pretty much on the go because an, I, I'm an on the go person. You might be different. You might be, you only want to edit in your room and stuff like that. Then you'd want to go more desktop, big mic, standalone camera with, with a, uh, a big heavy tripod kind of deal. You know what I mean? Another thing I don't know if you've noticed, but I do edit on iMovie. Yes, I edit on the free editing application it's simple it's nice and it's free so that's pretty much the selling point for me uh, maybe down the road when I start getting monetized on YouTube I might consider like Final Cut Pro and stuff like that I movie simple you know I'm not an editor editor I'm amateur I taught myself and I taught myself on iMovie so that's the way I learned that's the way I'm comfortable with I do definitely want to upgrade over time I want to try something new I want to better my editing skills you know make it better for you guys to watch and everything like that but right now this is what I'm working with another small thing I use Bose earphones these are sound links they're just simple they're wireless they're nice but I had these way before I started YouTube yeah I use these for audio quality and stuff like that just to make sure everything sounds nice and this is my camera bag I got this at VidCon for free the camera bag itself so we're gonna play I know every youtuber loves to do this what's in my camera bag what what's in my camera bag yeah we're playing that game this will be fun so let's see what's in my camera bag so this is my GoPro Hero 4 session it's a action camera it's really nice it's small it was the cheapest ones. Uh, this was this was years ago though. Before I started YouTube, I just had this for like action shots and stuff like that. I like it. I only use it for action shots now that I have other cameras, but it's a nice camera. This is the micro USB adapter that I use for my GoPro that I plug into my computer. So my second pocket, this is a SD card reader for my computer with the USB-C. That's really important. I use that a lot actually. This is a strap that came with my M50. It's not a big deal, don't use it. I haven't used it once since I got it. This is my adapter for my iPhone. Now I use this a lot too. So I use this one to take photos to my Mac. And then this, 
I use to take pictures to my iPhone for Instagram and stuff like that because I take a lot of pictures on my M52. And then this last thing, this is like lens covers and camera covers and stuff like that. So that's also not important. But other than that, that is pretty much all I, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you one more thing. This right here helped me start my YouTube channel in the very beginning. This is my red iPhone 8. I vlogged with this in the very beginning. I edited on here and I vlogged. So that's why I had a pop socket. So I would hold it like this, but I love this thing. It was really nice. All right guys, so now we're on my homepage of my YouTube channel. So another thing I wanted to talk about is really like the little things that you want to do to make your channel look pretty, stuff like that. I have a banner here, you know, it says like new vlogs weekly, Michael Rizzo. I, I put my channel name, I put my tags, you know, my app where you can find me on other social medias. And another thing you want people to know is how often you post. Now before Vlogmas, I was really only posting once a week, so I always let them know new vlogs weekly. Going into next year, this banner will change because I will have a defined schedule by which I will be posting. Also, you wanna make sure you have a really good avatar that kinda just shows what you're about. I have a nice blue background here and it's, it's me. I'm actually thinking about changing it, but I'm gonna do a similar concept, but probably just a different color in the background. I'll probably stay within theme and go with like a red background like this, but we'll see. Also a very important thing when making YouTube videos, it's almost as important as editing. Thumbnails are so important when it comes to making YouTube videos because the sad truth about YouTube is, is they do judge a book by its cover, so you want to make sure the cover looks really, really good. And then this is your about page, this is where you basically explain what kind of channel you are, what people should be looking forward to where they can contact you and where they can follow you on your other socials. At least that's what I do. I also have playlists here. For the longest time, I only really had a vlog playlist and I had a little bit of an extreme challenge playlist. But for Vlogmas, I had a Vlogmas playlist, so all my Vlogmas videos are here. So you wanna make sure your channel stays organized so that way people know where to find what video. This is where I find all my analytics and it basically tells me what videos do well and what videos don't. And I use these statistics to help me figure out what things are going right in my videos and what things are going wrong. It really helps out a lot. This analytics page tells you everything, tells you how many subscribers, views, and watch time you get off of each video. And it really helps you understand what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Another thing I'd like to mention is my setup is completely made for me. What I mean by that is the way I function, I'm a vlogger, I'm not a gamer. So I don't have a microphone and I don't have a desktop to edit gaming software and stuff like that. I don't have a PC. So what I have is for a vlogger. If you are some other kind of YouTuber or some other kind of content creator that makes different kinds of content, then maybe you should look at a different video because mine is typically for vloggers and you know, stuff like that. And whenever I'm talking to people about starting a YouTube channel, I always seem to hear the same excuse, equipment. I don't have the equipment, I don't have the money to buy the equipment. And that is a terrible excuse because I'm living proof that you can start on your iPhone and be just fine. Perfectly fine. So I hope this was some kind of motivating factor and I hope, you know, maybe the equipment and stuff like that and what I do and my process I hope this helped a lot. But guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this inspired you to start your channel today. You really should. YouTube was the best thing that's ever happened to me. If I can give you any sort of inspiration or any bit of push to start your channel, just do it today. Regardless of what kind of equipment you have, you have your own ideas. Everybody thinks differently. Share your ideas with the world and start your YouTube channel today. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. I'll see you next time.